Good morning, Tamara here. Welcome to my channel. I am coming to you fresh faced, no makeup, a little bit of lipstick, because today I am going to be demonstrating for you my updated AM fall winter skincare routine. Now I have been up for about an hour. I've had a nice tall glass of lemon water to rehydrate. Bosley and I took our morning walk to the beach to watch the sunrise over the water. And if I can, I will try to um, insert a picture of the sunrise or a video because that is my favorite way to start the day year round. I'm still working on my coffee and now it's time to do my skincare. So if this sounds interesting to you, throw this video a like and let's get right to it. A couple of side notes before we get started. I am almost 61. My skin is dry, very dry in the winter. And I have all the usual concerns that we as aging women have. Lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, you know, all the usual suspects. My skin is not particularly sensitive, but it is very dry. And as we get into the winter months, it is getting even drier. The skincare routine that I will be showing you, I have been working on and developing over a period of many, many years. Most of these products I have been using for several years. All of the products are tried and true for me. And regardless of where you are in your skincare journey, whether you are a beginner or whether you have a more advanced routine, I do want to caution you um, anytime you're adding new products to your skincare routine, please add one at a time. I know how it is. It can be really inspiring to watch skincare videos on YouTube. It really makes you want to go out and buy a whole bunch of products and just throw them on your face, right? The problem with that is if you develop an irritation, you have no idea what is causing the irritation. And if the skincare routine is working for you, you still have no idea which product is actually helping you. So again, I caution you, always add one skincare product at a time, evaluate your response. Like I said, these products work for me, for my skin, doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna work for everybody. You know, um, if you have oily skin, rosacea, sensitive skin, you might be interested in products that are a little bit different from these. But these work very well for my 60 year old dry aging skin. This routine that I'm going to show you, I do most days, keeping in mind that I pay very close attention to how my skin looks and feels. If it is starting to look red or feel irritated or, you know, I may adjust. So an example of that is a couple of weeks ago, I took a beautiful fall walk. It was a cool day. It was a sunny day. Of course I had sunscreen on and a hat. But I was outside for quite a long time and it was a very cool, windy day. And you know, when I got home, my skin felt a little bit dry. I didn't think too much of it. And that a, a night later, I went in with my pumpkin enzyme exfoliating mask. And a mask that usually I can tolerate very, very well stung my skin so badly I had to remove it. So my skin had actually gotten wind burned, which is an impairment of the moisture barrier. And so because I was really paying attention to my skin, I adjusted my skincare routine accordingly for a couple of days. I skipped my Retin-A, I skipped my vitamin C, I just went in with super gentle hydrating ingredients. So that's what I mean when I say, listen to your skin and adjust your skincare routine accordingly. Okay, now let's get started with today's skincare routine. Not everybody cleanses their face with a cleanser every morning. Many people find it perfectly fine to just rinse with water. I enjoy cleansing my face with my Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser every morning. I absolutely adore my Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser. It is hydrating, it doesn't strip my skin, and it just makes my skin feel awake and refreshed. I use about a half a pump in the morning and apply that to my skin. Oh gosh, that feels so good. It's got a very light, clean, refreshing scent. It is fragrance free. Actually, it has some really wonderful ingredients. Jojoba oil, macadamia nut oil, 
green tea. Um, but you don't need to spend a lot of money on cleansers for the big, mainly because cleansers are not in contact with your skin for long enough to really achieve the maximum benefit of whatever the ingredients are. Having said that, I enjoy doing a little facial massage in the morning and leaving the cleanser on my skin for a minute or two just so that I can, you know, get some of the benefits of those really nice ingredients. When you are choosing a cleanser, be very careful to choose a mild cleanser. You do not want your skin to feel stripped. You do not want your skin to feel tight and dry after you've used your cleanser, okay? And normally I will do about a two minute massage and then I normally will rinse it at the bathroom sink but I'm not at the bathroom sink, so I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Eraser Microfiber Cleansing Cloth. And this provides a little bit of gentle mechanical exfoliation as well as removing all traces of cleanser. Okay. Cleansers, cleansers should never leave your face feeling tight or stripped. This cleanser has left my skin feeling very hydrated. While my skin is still damp, I am going to go in with my Sukiyaka Suhada. This is, I'm not sure if it's a toner or an essence, but it is super hydrating. It's got urea, ceramides, glycerin. I just use a few drops and I press that onto my damp face to seal the hydration in and add hydration from the urea, ceramides, and glycerin. Oh my gosh. This is newer to my routine. I purchased this about a month ago with the recommendation of Penny, who has the channel Penn Smith Skincare, and I'm sure you all know who she is because she is a skincare goddess. She has mentioned this so many times in so many videos and says she has been using it for years and years and I finally purchased it and I am so glad I did. It is wonderful for locking in hydration, okay? Then you have heard me talk about the Pixi Glow Tonic many times. You can see this is a huge bottle and I have used most of it up. I have been using this for several years. This is a um, chemical exfoliate toner. It's 5% glycolic acid. It is fairly gentle. It is, it is fairly gentle. It also has aloe vera in it. This is iconic. It is a very popular iconic product. And like I said, I've been using it for years. But I am switching up my skincare a little bit for the winter months. Instead of the Pixi Glow Tonic, I am now using the Ordinary 5% Lactic Acid. And the reason I made that switch is lactic acid is more gentle than glycolic acid. And lactic acid is actually a humectant, so it will actually help hydrate your skin. And that is what my goal is for my winter skin, is to boost and constantly add hydration. So I just use a couple of drops of that and again, press that into my skin. I do like to use a gentle daily exfoliant because it really does help keep those flakes at bay. You know, chemical exfoliants release the glue that's holding the dry flaky skin onto your skin and I really think this helps a little bit of a gentle daily exfoliant helps keep those Retin-A peelies at bay, okay? Then I'm gonna let that soak in for a little while. Then I go in with my Timeless Vitamin C. You know vitamin C is one of the most powerful antioxidants. And the morning skincare is really about protecting the skin, protecting the skin from the environment, protecting the skin from the sun, and antioxidants are very, very powerful protectives. They protect our skin from oxidative damage from the environment, from the sun. They are nourishing, they feed our skin. Now, 
I have been using L-ascorbic acid in one form or another for many, many years. I used the SkinCeuticals for a long time. Thank goodness Timeless came out with pretty much the same formula at a fraction of the cost. I have been using the Timeless for about five years and I absolutely love it. A couple of notes about L-ascorbic acid. It can be irritating to some people and it has a very short shelf life. So if you have sensitive skin or rosacea, you may not be able to use L-ascorbic acid. However, there are other vitamin C derivatives that are more gentle that you might be able to use. And I will list some alternatives in the description box below. But I tolerate my L-ascorbic acid without any problem. And like I said, it is a holy grail and I am pretty generous with it. And again, Again, just adding some drops, applying it to the skin. Avoid, do not get it in your eyes. It is an acid, but I do like to get it somewhat close, put it on my crow's feet and my under eyes, and of course my neck. <sighs> Always bring your skincare down your neck. I think I only started taking care of my neck about 10 years ago, and boy, was that ever a mistake. I so wish I would have started my neck skincare much, much earlier. Necks are difficult. Okay, so I'm gonna let that soak in. The next antioxidant that I'm going to be applying to my skin is another holy grail. This is my Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. I've been using this for several years and I absolutely love it. It also has peptides, hyaluronic acid. This is extremely hydrating. Actually, I have a dedicated video on antioxidants and I will link that below. So I will apply my Timeless Coenzyme Q10. This is a yellow, golden, sort of creamy texture. It is a little thicker than water. Very, very hydrating. I put that everywhere, the eye area, and of course down the neck. It just feels amazing on the skin. I absolutely love it. I will not be without this. Now you might be wondering, Tamara, what about your Mysama Green Rooibos Pressed Serum? This is another Favorite antioxidant serum. Green Rooibos Press Serum is a powerful antioxidant. I absolutely love it. But I'm using this right now primarily in the evening as a partner to my red light therapy mask. Now, could I use this twice a day? Absolutely. Do I need three antioxidant serums every morning? No, I don't feel like I do. So I am reserving my Mysama Green Rooibos Press Serum for the evening, and I am relying on two antioxidant serums to give me plenty of antioxidant protection throughout the day. So I have cleansed. I have applied a hydrating toner. I have applied the lactic acid and two antioxidant serums. I know that seems like a lot, but you know, this is not all absolutely necessary, but this is what I enjoy doing and this is what works for me. The next step is hydration, moisturizer. I still love my CeraVe PM moist Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is a cult classic. It is drugstore priced. It is high quality. It has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid and three ceramides, all of which help protect our very important moisture barrier. It's lightweight, it absorbs easily. Gosh, I'm almost out. And it is very hydrating. I use several pumps and that goes everywhere. I love using affordable products whenever possible. And like I said, I have been using this for several, several years. I absolutely love it. Now, in the dead of winter, it might not be quite hydrating enough for me every day. So my other options that I sometimes use in the dead of winter when I'm feeling extra dry is I'll just go on with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream 
and or I have been enjoying my Mad Hippie Triple C Night Cream. Now, I do not use this at night because I have a different night cream that I am preferring, but this is very rich and it's loaded with vitamin C, which is antioxidant, so sometimes I'm using this in the morning. It's a little too rich to use right now, and um, but I think that, you know, if I'm going to be doing some outdoor activities and I want some occlusive skincare on my skin, this might be a really good thing. So I'm hanging on to this. I really enjoy it. Um, I talked about this in a recent video, um, my five night creams ranked, and I did a nice review on this. I do enjoy it. So if you're interested in that video, I will link that below. The last and the most important step of my morning skincare routine is, of course, sun protection. You know I absolutely love my Elta MD UV Elements Tinted Mineral Sunscreen. This has an SPF of 44. I have talked about it so many times and I have some dedicated sunscreen videos that I will link below. So I'm not gonna go on and on about it, but two things, sunscreen every single day and make sure you use the required amount. You must use one quarter of a teaspoon on your face in order to achieve the SPF of 44. And no, SPF in foundation is not enough. I have a video on that too. So for me to achieve a quarter of a teaspoon, that is five pumps. What I sometimes do is I will apply three pumps and then 20 minutes later, apply another pump of this with a pump of It CC Cream to get a little customized tinted um, sunscreen. But today I'm just gonna go right in with the five pumps. And it looks like that, that's quite a bit. And I always mix it between my fingers so that I can apply it evenly all over my face. Now, because it is a mineral sunscreen, I can apply it on the eye area with no irritation. If this was a chemical sunscreen, I would not be able to use it anywhere near my eyes. It would be too irritating. Okay, so that is worked in. You can see it's tinted. It doesn't actually add coverage, but it does add a nice little evening out of the skin tone. And you can see it's glowy. So after about 15 or 20 minutes, that will set down. And this actually acts as a really nice primer if I want to put foundation over it. Um, like I said, this is my number one all-time favorite sunscreen. Mineral, 10% zinc oxide, lots of skin loving ingredients. I have it on auto delivery every two months from the Derm store. It is fabulous. Okay, I think we did it. We got through my AM updated fall winter skincare route. Okay, I gotta put some lipstick on. All right, let's put a little lipstick on, right? All right, I always feel a little bit better with lipstick. You know, this is my L'Oreal Color Reshine in the color Varnish Rosewood. My lips put better. Anyway, we got through my skincare routine. Thank you very much for hanging in there with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. I would love to hear what your skincare favorites are. I am loving reading the sharing and the discussion in the comments below. I do read every single comment. I don't always respond right away, but I do read them all and I am doing my best to keep up with responding, okay? Thank you very much. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. You know that really helps support my channel. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And with all that being said, I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. And I look forward to seeing you in my video next Sunday. Thank you, bye. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I am going in with my souk. <laughs> I can never remember the name of this. While my skin is still damp, I'm going in with my Sukiyaka. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Sukiyaka Suhada. <sighs> I wish I would have started so I so wish I so wish I would have
Sukiyaka Suhada. I know I'm butchering that. Now, okay. Um, you know, antioxidants are just like food for your skin. Okay. Good morning, Tamara here. Welcome to my channel. Ah. Oz and I walk to the beach. And watch the sun come up. I'm a tad late this morning. It's about five minutes ago, the sun was was bright pink but it's still really pretty and I come down here year-round it's October 21st and we had a very very unseasonable seven inches of snow look at that it's packed down now Yep, we broke records. The little ducks and geese haven't even left town yet. This is my happy morning place. The water, the sun coming up. Oop, Bosley sees the Bosley sees the ducks. <laughs> what a good boy. He ups head, then he does his zoomies. Yeah, it's his happy place too. Like to sniff around, chase the ducks a little tiny bit. Anyway, anyway, this is my happy place in the morning. Right two doors down from my house at the end of my street. And by the middle of winter, the sun will be coming up over there. But now it's coming up over there, and I think it is gorgeous. It's a good way to start the day. Watch a sunrise anywhere, but especially over the water. 